Before starting the new chapter, I'd like you to help this video get to 500 likes. Let's go to the video. In this chapter, it seems that S.E. Jun is swallowing everything. Just a drop of the red locust soup that he made. While feeling intense heat in the building, inside his body, his body started sweating heavily while hitting a bowl on the table. An alert appeared telling S.E. Jun that he consumed the correct amount of the red locust soup. Now his strength has increased by 5.1 for 30 minutes. And he won't feel hungry for 3 hours. The farm tower was placed alongside the rabbits. Well, he told everyone that he tasted the chicken after about 8 months. Entering floor 99 of the tower, he was happy as he made the soup. The fat rabbit was also burping while the little bear, also called the red locust, found the soup really delicious in front of his eyes. I wonder what feeling it was that he was constantly having, as he definitely forgot something. But this puzzle was immediately solved in June. He received an alert from the tower manager, who was bothering the farm tower. She asked her if she would finally get it. I remembered this when I heard this in June. The farm tower started sweating while the dragon asked if she had eaten the rabbits a lot without her with S.E. June himself. But hearing this S.E. June started laughing nervously and asked the lady dragon about the time she was in. I was watching the farm tower and the other rabbits. But this made the big lady dragon explode while she was telling farm tower in anger that she was watching everything from the beginning. John made him remember that she was warned about the evil tree invasion. The dragon continued to tell Jun as well that there is a big reward that can be obtained by using the contributions accumulated from the Red Locust Extermination Army. The lady dragon has been in extreme pain that she almost started crying out of the farm tower's ignorance. But when she heard the crying from the dragon, S.E. Jun immediately realized that he would be in a big place. He started asking about the problems our manager suffering from what was wrong but she only told se june that he was a bad man but somehow se june immediately rattled that he was making a special soup just for the lady dragon the lady stopped immediately and wondered what kind of soup was made by se june for her when se june began watching through the crystal ball the tower manager mentioned and that this soup was made just as a test however the tower farmer explained that he noticed the red locusts contained a small amount of poison inside them, so he wondered what could be done to improve the taste while removing the toxins inside them. At that moment, June attempted to butter up the manager, who told her that he had been constantly thinking of the lady while preparing the soup. The tower manager blushed immediately when she came to inform him that June had been constantly thinking that he had put the nail in the right place. S.E. June was the one who was really doing that. And she informed the lady that he would make soup for her. She immediately started opening the pot while the dragon lady tapped the crystal ball base and placed it on the ground. Looking at the tower farmer through the crystal, telling S.E. June that she was ready to wait as she watched the tower farmer to see if the soup was specially made for her by our son. But as soon as S.E. June received the notification that the tower manager was watching him and waiting for his reaction, he paled immediately as he is now. He did not know what he should do, but he immediately knew that if he did not make the soup right now, he would have a big problem. Saying that June started making the soup immediately while she began chopping the tomatoes and carrots together with the red locust meat. Making a vegetable paste from the locusts, the soup took on a ruby red color which looked truly delicious with the vegetables. In the end, S.E. June took a spoonful of the soup and tasted it to adjust the salt. But in the end, he knew that the soup was ready because this dish was shiny and looked really delicious. Notices tell us that June is the month he made food for battle for the first time. When he was on the tower, he also achieved the feat of making the cherry red cherry tomato soup with locusts. And now he has elevated his cooking to three. The red carob recipe, the cherry tomato soup with locusts is also recorded, and we are coming to know that this soup also contains detoxifying green onions, which work to remove the toxins in the red locust meat. Even the taste of this dish has improved slightly, and when the magic Heikel user consumes it, their energy will increase by 7.1 for 30 minutes. This dish also had a shelf life of 30 days and was also a C-plus tower grade item. The farmer began to tell the dragon that her favorite food was the magical cherry tomatoes. Therefore, S.E. June added cherry tomatoes instead of potatoes. Finally, S.E. June wanted Lady Dragon to have a bowl of soup as well. She waited for a long time. But the tower manager wanted every drop of the cherry tomato soup. Lady Dragon told him that she wanted all the soup in the pot at once. Upon hearing this, S.E. June was confused, but he was ready to do what the tower manager asked. 
He quickly transferred all the soup into a basket made of green color. The onions were transferred to the basket in the tower manager's hands. He looked happily at the small cups. She also received a compliment for the smell of the tower-made soup. The farmer immediately blushed. She took a sip of the soup, but as soon as the soup touched her tongue, Lady Dragon seemed to ascend to the sky immediately. She took all the red liquid in her mouth, in one go while unable to show her happiness in any way. It was as if thousands of thoughts overwhelmed her. Finally, her eyes began to shine. She felt that everything was like heaven as she exclaimed that the soup was truly delicious. It was even more delicious than anything she had eaten before in her life. She received multiple notifications while eating the red locust, which implied that the cherry tomato soup had its magical power. Now she felt 7.1 times fuller for 30 minutes and did not feel hungry for 3 hours. Lady Dragon blushed deeply as she fell to the ground, thinking that the tower farmer had made the soup especially for her, even using red cherry tomatoes instead of the potatoes because she liked them more. It was June who made the soup entirely while thinking of Lady Dragon all the time. And this was more than the big dragon could bear. She was still very shy while realizing that her dragon heart was not ready for peace. She did not understand what it meant. She had to do it, but she began to deny everything the feelings were saying to herself. She was convinced that it was only happening because her heart was now getting better. But she kept looking at the tower farmer, who wondered where the tower manager was. She felt anxious when he asked her if she was still listening to what S.E. June wanted to know, if the soup tasted goat, and if he felt better. But in the end, after a long time, Lady Dragon answered our bow that she ate well, and the soup tasted really good. Southeast June reassured well after hearing this, was sitting on the bench, apologizing to Eileen once again, telling her that he did not really do it. He forgot about it, but just tasted it now. A chicken that has been inside the tower for a long time, so he really enjoyed it in the end. He told the lady that he was pleased because he felt better and wanted the dragon. The lady took the dried sweet potato and had it as a snack because it would taste very good. But suddenly it became multiple. Notifications appeared telling you about the month of June that the tower manager was also sorry because she was upset for no reason other than she thought she was neglected by the tower farmer. Suddenly, but our son was really tense after reading this. Ellen told him that there was no way he would neglect her. Ellen told him that he neglected her, and he talked to the tower, but it was because of her. She was alive on the 99th floor, so she always appreciates the tower manager for helping her in every situation. After hearing this sincere gratitude, it was as if the lady dragon's heart was now melted as she clicked on her heart while a surprise notification message appeared. The June SE notification said that if he offered Ellen a dry roasted sweet potato, he would receive an immediate talent. Blossom in June, they realized it was a rare thing and should be a huge reward. He knew that for the regular hunter, it takes a lot of effort to develop a single talent, so he wasn't sure if he could handle this talent from the tower manager and replaced it with some dried sweet potato, but the tower manager told S.E. June that she used all the contribution to get rid of the red locust that she mentioned earlier, as well as a little of her own power to craft this reward for the tower farmer. She was sure that this meant June would definitely do it like her dried sweet basket. The light potato snack meal was delivered to the Lady Dragon Ant. S.E. June was informed that he completed the task. And as a reward for completing the task, the talent named the owner is now ready for the tower farmer to use. This talent was acquired skill that can only be acquired through the farmers who have a large farm. Now we can say that June can determine up to 30 rent farmers. And these tenants can use work skills for landowners and when the tenant uses the landowner skill, the landowner will receive a 1% compensation. This talent will continue to grow over time. The farm size increase was in June. I was really impressed by this new talent in thinking. It's a somewhat extraordinary talent. He was supposed to possess it. But he noticed that this talent can only be obtained by farmers. There was a 1% reward for hiring the farmers. He wanted to immediately test his new talent. The little bear called out. The cute bear didn't understand what was happening, but he still came towards his father. While S.E. June was looking at the list of completely vacant tenants, I looked up at the little bear's head and clicked on the confirm button. Finally, the little bear was hired as S.E. June. He was happy to see it. It was really easy to use this talent. The little bear was innocent as always. He wondered why his father was there. S.E. June clicked on the little bear's head at once. The little bear immediately asked if he could pick some cherry tomatoes. 
After hearing this, the little bear immediately felt competitive, while asking his father about the amount he could pick at once. S.E. Jun told him he had to pick 100 cherry tomatoes immediately. And upon hearing that, the little bear flashed immediately towards Farmer Tower's farm. Even this speed surprised S.E. Jun, until the core, where multiple notifications began to appear, saying Ju that the tenant farm had harvested 57 cherry tomatoes, and the landlord got 1%. S.E. Chun's work experience was compensated with a slight increase, and his level was equal. His mastery has been increased now. The experience has been increased by 1.5 points every time. The little bear picks. S.E. Jun realized that cherry tomatoes can be caught even without using catching skills. He had to use the skill himself. He was gaining 1% of his skill experience from the farm owner. He realized his talent in this way. Even when his farm became large and he could no longer harvest crops directly, he could still gain a little work experience and more bonuses by using tenants. S.E. Jun stood joyfully and thought about it. It's now hard to harvest the field, as it has been expanded. But even then, he can still get a little. The experience was really good. The talent given to him by the dragon lady. And he was still in shock. Because his talent will continue to grow. With the growth of his farm, I immediately arrived at the rabbits, who were still asleep or eating. As he told them they needed to go to work because there was a need to expand the field. But the warrior rabbit immediately told his friend that he just wanted to rest a little. Because he was very full after eating too much food of red crawfish meat soup and he even felt sleepy listening to this as he john added the black rabbit immediately on the tenant list was also the rabbit now i get nervous when i see something hovering in the sky over his head after a while as he june i started to lead the black rabbit with the other rabbits telling him so if he feels sleepy then he should move to get energy back and if he lies down after eating as well then he turns into a cow instead of hearing the male rabbit from a cow the third bull was surprised but as the scene turns and we come towards Al-Kabir. Farm we born as E. June when he was. Tell all the rabbits to go and eat. The fun of working in the fields, but suddenly, we see a lot of corrupt entities that they are still hiding inside our farm. The bull was ready to conquer him. Home again as their eyes were now, glowing in crimson red. And thus, my friend, the chapter has ended for today. Wait for the next chapter next week. May you be well.